It was described as a divine message, one that came to the king in a dream. In it, Mswati III saw a new system of governance called monarchical democracy. And that brought faint hope of much needed reforms in the tiny kingdom. Now though, Mswati's dashed those. Uh, it's just uh, the name so people can understand very well because they can pronounce it very well and uh, without difficulty. Tingunla, they will have difficulties yes. in pronouncing it. Tinkundla is the current system, and it essentially props Mswati up as an absolute monarch. Analysts, though, say it's high time the king implements democratic reforms. There is no place for absolute monarchs in Africa. The narrative of modern Africa, of the Africa of BRICS, is one of democracy, of free and fair elections, of economic development, of foreign direct investment. However insignificant Swaziland might be in terms of its economic pull, politically it's a blight on the continent. In just a week, Swaziland holds national elections. But the pool to choose from is limited, since political organizations are banned in the country. Still, the king believes his methods have not been autocratic. Well, we haven't applied any kind of uh, repressive measures in this country. In fact, there's no need to do so because, uh, you know, we are a very peaceful country, a peaceful nation. Most of the country's opposition groups are in exile in South Africa. moves at moves enca.com